day of Tamers. It's me. Now, two cars today. We're getting very close. Tomorrow should be the big day. We get a Greymon and a new option card and a Tai Chi Man and a War Greymon of some variety. Some variety. But that being said, today's reveals weren't too bad. I think we're still missing, after those four cards, one more card. So we might get all five tomorrow. And it could be a case that we somehow get a white Digimon card. But in a different slot. And then we'll get the Alter Arts or we'll get whatever the Ghost, the Shadow card is meant to be in the last slot of the, uh, that, we, that we know about. But first of all, we have a new Okwagamon. And I did say I wanted a good one. It's a pretty decent one. And it actually synergizes really well with our next card. So, Okwagu. Ultimate virus, yeah, virus again. We we know about this this thing now. Insectoid. End of opponent's turn. Once per turn, by suspending one of your Digimon, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add two green Digimon cards amongst them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck. I will say I wish it said green cards and not green Digimon cards because that way you can get your tamer out, makes things easier. But we shall see what happens with uh, easy support in BT. 15, but for now, I think this is really good. It pairs really well with our next card, Genin. Genin is the white trainer card that I've been talking about for the last few days. Presumably we would get the white tamer card, because it seems strange that we had a space in between the purple card, the EG, IG, and then the first red option card, because we're going to get two of each colours. It just seems strange to me was all. So I do think we're going to get ourselves a white tamer, which we did, and Genin is, is kind of it's kind of cool. So, the effects of Ginn are on play. You may reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one level three Digimon card and one non white Tamer card amongst them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck. Opponent's turn. When an opponent's level five or higher Digimon attacks, you may suspend this Tamer. Move one Digimon from your breeding area to the battle area. This happens at the same time that your counter timing would work. So, essentially, they swing. They do their effects. You get to counter. So you get to bring this out. You can then counter up into something else. So if let's say you've got like a level four on the field uh, because of this effect, bring it out level four. It can then counter up into a level five. And that's what a lot of people have been saying that like they, they weren't sure how counter was going to be good in this deck because, you know, nine times out of ten, if you've got something on the field, your opponent's just going to pop it if we get a chance to evolve into it. Well, now we know that there's a way around it, which is, which is really cool. And then a security place card without paying its cost. This also makes it easier for the Okwagamon that we just saw a second ago actually run itself available. Um, you know, your opponent does its win attacking effects, nothing gets to kill it. You use this effect to bring out the Okwagamon. Your opponent then has to commit to popping it with a card, depending on what they cost. You know, it can be quite a big deal. Uh, you know, they, they say, like, well, look, I don't have any removal for it. I can't get rid of it this turn. You get to do your suspend, spend itself, uh, search top five, get two green Digimon cards start of your turn and to spend you can start doing your turn then and i think that's something we need to think about here it's very effective and it's quite it's quite good makes things a bit safer for you as well so that way having more opportunities to actually deal with your opponent is really good you might also bring more synergies in that your opponent's gonna start swinging with lower level digimon so obviously more risky because that way you're having to you know do i swing into your security for level four do i hope that they can survive an attack obviously once you figure out what you're going into sometimes it's better to start swinging your little things that way you don't have to worry about your opponent going like Oh, I'll do this, that, and the other. And it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. But uh, no, that's everything for today, guys. I'm really looking forward to this stuff coming out in six months for us in November. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get news about the Greymon stuff as well. So peace out, guys. See you guys tomorrow for some more news. And have a fantastic day. And if you're in the UK, you know how warm it is. So try and keep cool and keep hydrated. Bye for now.